A barrage of Russian missiles was shot down over Ukraine, but clearly not all of them. One destroyed a residential high-rise in Uman. Sergei Lubivsky says his neighbors, who moved in when he did 30 years ago, are all gone. No one is left, he says. The death toll, more than 20 and climbing, includes four children. President Volodymyr Zelensky called for a moment of silence, but also called upon the free world to remain committed to Ukraine's fight. Russia must lose, and its leadership must be punished, he said. There are signs that the expected Ukrainian counteroffensive in the east is about to start. The military is seeking out Russians with drones as Ukraine awaits more NATO weapons like this howitzer. They are super, says this artillery commander, better than the old Soviet-era models. We're able to push the Russians back and move the guns more quickly, he says. The counteroffensive will be crucial to demonstrate to NATO that with its help, Ukraine can succeed, says this analyst. The Western world has given uh, an enormous amount of aid, uh, defensive weapons, and so I think it needs to demonstrate to all of its allies that it can use those weapons to good effect and push back uh, Russian troops. Today, the Pope lamented what's happening in Ukraine and what he called the soloists of war, while a new UN report wants Russia to respond to evidence of human rights violations. Is Russia listening? <laughs> Vladimir Putin today called on Russians to counter the West's economic aggressions. Putin has not listened to outside voices for 14 months and does not appear to be listening now least of all to Ukrainians like Sergei Lubivsky. They don't care, he says. They want to kill as many people as they can. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.